Hello. Hello. Who wants to see IBM Smart Cloud Orchestrator? All right. Well, good to see. We got a few people here. So I wanted to start by giving a little bit of background of why why would we even need an orchestrator? What is an orchestrator? And yes, I hate that word. It is very confusing. But this is an example, actually, of a, a workflow from one of our, our customer data centers of what are all the steps that need to be done when bringing a virtual machine or some virtual applications into a data center. We all know how OpenStack can go and provision VMs, and that's all great. But when you're dealing with a production data center, invariably, you have to connect to all sorts of systems and management systems and monitoring systems and backup systems and so on and, and so forth. So Orchestrator is really designed to help you with all those other things that we need to do. When we talk about orchestration, we think of it as there's kind of three flavors of orchestration. At the lowest level, it's we call it resource orchestration. That's really about compute, networking, and storage resources. And that's what OpenStack is all about. Provides a consistent set of APIs for manipulating those low-level infrastructural resources. Next, a little bit above that, we refer to it as workload orchestration. How do you assemble those resources to create applications and services for something more meaningful? And again, I'll show you a little bit later in, in the demo how we assemble these things. We refer to them as patterns. Um, and then the next level of orchestration we call service orchestration. And that's where we integrate with development systems for continuous delivery through operation systems like, like I said before, CMDBs, backups, uh, service desks, and the like. So let's take it to uh, a bit of a, a demo I've got here. So this is our, our design tool for creating workflows for orchestration. The yellow ones are actually indicate where human user interfaces are shown. And these other ones are completely unattended uh, um, orchestration or automation. And using this tool, you can very easily create new steps in your, in your workflows. And you can also integrate with humans in, in the various processes. Using that tool, we can create service, um, a service catalog. And those are role-based, so different users will see different catalogs of the things that they can do. This is very typical for a lot of traditional IT data centers. Now here, we're just going to show an example. Now all of this is created using the design tool. In this example, we're going to fire up a couple of VMs as part of an application. It's a really simple app. It's got a, um, a little bit of uh, um, Tomcat with a Zookeeper backend. And here you can, in the user interface, again, using that drag and drop tool, you can create simple UIs to take some uh, additional information. Meanwhile, it then goes off to OpenStack, and OpenStack does the provisioning. Now, in this particular case, we're using OpenStack pushing down to a VMware environment. Now, this is an existing um, vSphere environment that we were just using OpenStack to, to directly talk into. Um, here's an example where we've added a little bit of extra orchestration to just let the user know by email. Hey, here's an email. Have a quick look, and you can see your application. Um, while that's spinning up, we'll have a, a look at the, uh, the pattern. I mentioned this workload, which is, has got the two VMs. And so in this user interface, you can see what's the current state of that pattern. And here you can see all of the steps that got executed and all of the, all of the scripts and all the, the different software that got installed. And now I'll look at um, what that pattern looks like visually. So you can see there, there are two virtual machines, and each of them have a handful of software. We've got, um, well, that was fast. Uh, so we have a couple of different software packages. I'll show you a little bit more in a moment. 
some of the details. Um, but so here, we'll just go have a quick look at th that application that's running. It's a trivial app that just shows how many, how many web servers do I have. And you can see there's just one here. Now we're going to go and try to scale out that, that small application. We're going to add an additional uh, virtual machine to that application. And one of the things that we, in this particular example, we said, well, hey, we've got several different clouds. We've got a VMware cloud. We've got a couple of KVM clouds. Which one do you want to put that new uh, VM into? So we're going to pick one of the KVM clouds. And again, we go off, and it sends down the request down to OpenStack. Um, and we'll, we'll automatically send the notification via email. Again, these are just examples to show the kinds of things that you can do with, with Smart Cloud Orchestrator. And here you can see now there are two, there are two VMs running in that, that cluster. So let's take a look at how do you create those patterns. And here's an example where you can just go up to, um, you know, if you, if you use Chef, you can go to the Ops Code website. You can download some cookbooks and recipes. And here we'll pull down um, an Apache one. And it's as simple as pull it down and then put it into the orchestrator, and then we can drag it and drop it onto those, those VMs. So while we wait for it to save, and so over here, um, it's really simple. You want to create a new pattern. We'll uh, give it a name. And now it's as simple as just find an, a virtual machine, an image, drag it onto the canvas, and then you can go to all of your chef recipes and you can drag them on top of each of the images. Now this is a really simple one. It's just one VM with, with one chef recipe. This could be many machines with many different recipes and you can order them and, and play around with that. In fact, you can even go and each of those recipes may have some additional options or parameters and they get exposed here and you can go and configure those and, and then just hit launch and then it'll go down and orchestrate through OpenStack to make each of the virtual machines provisioned uh, onto your cloud. And while we wait for that, uh, it'll fire it up, and uh, we can go and, and actually take a look and see what, what's running over there. And we'll, we should see the typical Apache uh, homepage so it's as simple as that. And what I was trying to show here is an end-to-end -end set of orchestration. OpenStack does that low-level resource orchestration. The next level is these patterns, drag and drop, create those patterns, leverage chef recipes, leverage whatever existing scripts you have. And then the next level is that more orchestrated across with multiple different back-end services. One of my friends from uh, um, original uh, founders of OpenStack called it, it's kind of like Visual Basic for the cloud. Anyway, so um, that's all I wanted to show you today, but I am absolutely got a few minutes left for questions. Anybody got any questions about this? So the question is, what hypervisors do we deal with? And do we deal with multiple different hypervisors? So the answer is absolutely yes. The, the system, Smart Cloud Orchestrator, and the whole suite of Smart Cloud products was built for many different hypervisors. In our portfolio right now, um, we cover Xen, KVM, VMware, Hyper-V, uh, Power, and ZVM. Now, those are within the portfolio. The ones that we have in Smart Cloud Orchestrator through OpenStack today, we have uh, VMware and KVM today. But each release, and we're trying to get our release cycle lined up with the OpenStack releases to be as close to as possible. And with each of those releases, we're going to turn on additional hypervisor support. Any other questions? Anybody, anybody here use Chef? <laughs> Are you from Opscode? I noticed the shirt. Uh, <laughs> um, anybody else uh, use Chef? No? 
Yes. Uh, do you guys, um, uh, you use, anybody else use uh, Runbook automation? Any Runbook tools, no? Uh, well, this is an open beta, so you're absolutely welcome to go and download it, try it out. Um, get, we'd love to get your feedback. There's also a, a hosted version where you, can, you don't have to install it or anything. You can, can just go and get a login, try it out, and let us know what you think. Um, we'd certainly appreciate any feedback. Any questions? Thank you very much.